Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be covering exercise 22 found in the level 1 training manual. In this exercise, we will be changing the location of our seaplane, also known as the construction plane. Do this by going to the top menu and selecting View, Set Seaplane, 3 points. Then, we will select 3 corners of our face, labeled 1. As we rotate the model, you will see that our seaplane has been set to lie on our face labeled 1. If we wanted to, we could then draw on this new construction plane. I will draw a cylinder. We can save this seaplane by going to the top menu and selecting View, Set Seaplane, Show Named Seaplanes Panel. In this panel, we will select the addition sign to add our current construction plane to the saved list. I will keep the default name Seaplane 1. Again, I will click the addition symbol and add another three-point seaplane like we did before, this time on face number two. Then I will do so a third time for face number three. If for whatever reason our three-point method is inconvenient for orienting our seaplane, we are provided with other options for setting up our construction plane. One of those ways is via view, set seaplane to object. This time we will select our number four face. Again, our seaplane will lie directly on our selected face. We also have the option of changing the origin of our construction plane. I will, of course, again hit the addition sign in my named construction plane list to add a construction plane. Create your origin seaplane by selecting View, Set Seaplane, Origin. Select any point. After doing so, you will find that your last seaplane will be recreated using the point you just selected as its origin. I hope you will watch the next tutorial in this series. It is an interesting one. I'm excited to be moving into more advanced practices. If you like this video and or series, please help me out by hitting that like and subscribe button. Or if you're feeling very generous, please help me out with a donation. Either way, I hope to have you as a continued viewer. Thank you so much for watching.